Hey, what is up you guys? How you guys doing? So today I stumbled upon a really interesting theory on reddit.com and it's about Ultra Ink Sync's Vegeta, the offensive part of Ultra Ink Sync. And on episode 117, we did see that Vegeta trying to unlock Ultra Ink Sync, but it didn't quite work out for him. He did get attacked, but guys, he will eventually achieve Ultra Ink Sync in time. So when Goku and Vegeta were training back at Beerus' planet with Whis, guys, Whis revealed that Goku is too relaxed when he fights. And also, the thing about Vegeta is, Vegeta overthinks too much while in battle and that does limit his fighting speed and he also said that you have to let your body do the work for you so the more that you think about your next move the more speed you will waste and that is when mastery of self movement comes to place which is the ultra instinct and guys for a fact we already know that goku already somewhat mastered the defensive portion of ultra instinct but guys the only one flaw that he has is the offensive he does not have the offensive yet whenever he switches to offensive he loses focus and that does not put too much pressure on his attack so that is one of his big Flaws, which was revealed by Whis when he was fighting Kefla. Now guys, this theory is about Vegeta. Vegeta's offensive ultra instincts form when, how, and why it will happen theory. I have seen various theories about Vegeta and his offensive ultra instincts and I think that I have a new idea on how it will work, when he will unlock it and why. It goes back to explaining ultra instinct. Goku reached ultra instinct in a fight or die situation, meaning that if you don't break your limits, then you die. Vegeta will try to unlock ultra instincts but it will fail because he's overthinking it and that is not the way you should unlock ultra instinct. It is something that you cannot just ask for it to happen. It has to happen in a dire situation. After universe 6 and universe 2's erasure, it will be universe 4 time to shine and reveal their trump card, the two bugs. Damon and Gramecius are powerful warriors but so small that it will be nearly impossible to hit them. Hard to see and hard to sense and if you hit one, it is not his body but a shattered explosion shell. That's Kutella's trump card, almost invisible fighter with powerful explosions to take out tired fighters. No one can defeat or even hit them even Goku is in trouble then blasted with a powerful kamikaze explosion Vegeta breaks his inner limit and goes ultra instincts his offensive ultra instincts form can literally hit anything he wants as his body reacts by itself moving in response to the enemy's dodging and always hitting the best spot even if you can't see or feel your body always hits the right spot to damage your opponents while Goku uses ultra instinct he can dodge anything he wants without even seeing or sensing but in Vegeta's case he will have the offensive part of ultra instincts which will allow him to hit anything he wants even if it's too fast or too small for everybody else while using ultra instincts Vegeta will take out the remaining fighters of universe 4 and that will result in universe 4 getting erased by Zeno and then Vegeta will collapse on the ring because ultra instincts does take out too much from the user's body and then it will be Frieza Gohan Piccolo and Android 17 against everybody else while Goku and Vegeta try to regain their strength to get back in action so guys that is about it. that's the theory right there guys and it's really interesting let me show you guys think about this guys it is really interesting and my question to you guys is do you guys think that Vegeta will achieve some form of ultra instincts even if it's not the offensive part do you guys think that it'll be possible for him to do that and determine the power anyways guys that is about let me sure you guys think about this I'll catch you guys thanks for watching and have a blessed day my friends